So mm -hmm. kaming tatlo, we were brought up. Ako, si Senator Rafi, si Erwin, which will soon be a congressman. Mm -hmm. So we were, nagkahilig kami sa isang, sa industry, in the annal of uh, Philippine media, particularly sa TV, sabay-sabay mm -hmm. kami. Kanya nga, yun, ang, yun yung uh, pinagtatakan ko. Paano nangyari sa isang pamilya, halos lahat kayo, na punta sa broadcast media? Well, <clears throat> nagkahilig lang kami because Rafi started wanted to be a newscaster. Mm -hmm. And then, end up, came to me uh, while ako sa bahay, give me a show. Mm -hmm. Come up with something. So, come up. Simon, the same Pero kasi thing. yung boses mo din eh, di ba? Uh, myself, separated ako sa kanila kasi ako, lumaki ako, talagang disc jockey ako eh. Ah, oh, DJ? So, DJ ako. Oh, so, di ba? So, iba yung, iba yung orientation. Eh, the ladies ko. were swooning. Oh, oh. Eh, di ba nung araw, di ba, pag disc yes. jockey ka? Okay, so... Oh, oh. Um, pagiging this jockey kasi it's like a prestige, it's not, yeah, it's not a profession, oh, yeah. so if you're this jockey in a station na medyo maganda, mm -hmm. eh, you belong to that yeah. class. Yeah, ibang, may, may sariling, ibang dating. May sariling oh, oh. silang twang or accent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, you left for the United States. Yeah, Kaya, and that's where you went to school. Yes. And you furthered your studies in the uh, further work studies media, in, uh, yeah, no, no, Further studies was executive schooling. Mm -hmm. So, in executive schooling, the own, that, uh, that's a different because executive, you, know, you really have to go yeah. because the school mm -hmm. wants you to go, mm -hmm. supported you know, by that corporation. That's why they were in the But the school, I was going to graduate from the Lyceum of the Philippines. Is, so supporting I was going to I did that because I had to, to make it a lot easier. It's a lot easier station. Eh. Mm -hmm. Malapit yung station ko sa Intramuros. Mm -hmm. So mabilis lang makarating. Mm -hmm. So the school, the, the, it's pang gabi. Mm -hmm. Sa gabi. So that's it. Anong itong pagstay mo sa Amerika? Mag, nagtagal ka ba? Yes. Nagtrabaho ka doon? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, lahat naman kami. Uh, lahat everybody kami. knows that we're all from the U.S. So... We stay there and learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Siguro kung hindi ako nag-stay ro, hindi ako nag-aaral doon, I wouldn't be who am I, who, mm -hmm. who I am right mm -hmm. now na mm -hmm. mapag-aralan yung organizational structure, corporate mm -hmm. world. Yeah. So, if you see si Ben, ang feeling nila si Bitag yan, yung astig yan, yung uh -huh. barako yan. Mm -hmm. But that is the persona na nakikita nila mm -hmm. sa akin. But in the real world, my uh, staff, my own, Mm -hmm. Employees, they know na I'm more of a, a hands-on mm -hmm. manager that equips, mm -hmm. inspire, motivate people, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, encourage them. Uh, this is basically who I am. And mm -hmm. then um, tactical when it comes to business, mm -hmm. strategical, the same mm -hmm. thing. But the things of business, mm -hmm. so we created a a company called mm -hmm. Bitag Multimedia Network. Yes. That's a trade name, but a corporate name is BMUI, which is mm -hmm. Bitag Media Limited Incorporated. Maraming nalilito, son, pag sinabing Bitag. Okay. Si Ben Tulfo yun eh. Yung parang yung kulog sa Bitag. Uh -oh. uh, it, was, it was just a show mm -hmm. na nag-stick sa mind ng mga tao na parang very kumaga, kicking doors, joining yeah. law enforcement, yeah. oh, oh. Uh, adrenaline rush na talagang... Kahit ako eh. Before I met you, yes. before I met you, akala ko talagang, wow, talagang pagdarating ka dito, talagang yes, sisipahin yes, yes. mo yung pintong gano'n. <laughs> uh, even in the U.S., uh, pag nakasama namin ang mga U.S. sheriff, maingat sila of allowing media people mm -hmm. getting to their infrastructure mm -hmm. because of the uh, problems sa uh, Asian Alam mo naman tayo, hotbed tayo ng uh, Abu Sayyab and uh, Jemaah uh -oh, Islamiya. Uh -oh. So, mm -hmm. sinisecure nila na itong uh, grupo na to, they might, they might just be mm -hmm. a media but mm -hmm. under the guise of. Pero nung nakita ng ibang mga Filipino-American cops, sila na yung nagbigay ng referral sa amin. So, all the 20 cities in Northern California, yeah. 20 cities and 20 police stations, including the SWAT, 
speakers, yung kanilang uh, mga um, training, mm -hmm. ride along, gang, gang mitigation or mm -hmm. gang task force, all those things na, nakasama kami roon. So mm -hmm. for the first time... Nakita ko yung mga episodes yes, na yun. Yes, marami pa yan. Ha? In the Philippine media, we were able to break that oh, oh. doon sa... Kasi mm -hmm. ang, ang sa atin, kasi pag pumunta na, magsushoot lang eh. Mm -hmm. hindi. We had to stay there for one month or one and a half month to do the episode and schedule the and ride along and work with the law enforcers. Mm -hmm. So nasana kami sa ganun. Kasi totoo yun, hindi naman stage na ano, di ba? No, 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 no. no. You're, you're, parang you're, tipong ano, ina-act out lang, hindi siya ganun. No, kasi bago, tayo, bago kami sumakay sa sasakyan, sa may waiver. Did kasi you nang, get all that, ano, the courage, the guts, the ano? Why, um, bakit ang tapang mo? Uh, some people are asking me that. Para sa akin, it's more of, I wanted it that way and I want to see the reality. Kasi mayroong iba kasi they claim reality. Yeah. But there are those real reality. May mga scripted reality. Kami reality because pag ikay pumunta roon at sasakay ka sa isang police cops, sasama ka sa mga sheriff. Sasama ka sa mga night patrols. Yeah, but difference. you're putting your life in danger, di ba? In a way, my purpose siguro si Lord mm -hmm. for me. Never ka pang nasakta, have been na barel, nasaksak, well, uh, yes, or we, anything we, like that na we, uh, sin physically hurt. Oh, I've been to a physical confrontation, mm -hmm. a real one in the U.S. Uh, we were fired upon dito naman sa mga raid, mm -hmm. uh, putukan. Kasama yan eh. Mm -hmm. So, kung makikita mo naman siguro, son, yung mga palabas namin, yung mga drug raids. Oh, These oh. are real. Dito scripted. Mga, mga nakakakaba ha. Uh, we wear bulletproof. Mm. And I have to carry my gun because I'm a licensed firearm holder. Yeah. Because papasukin. So, yan pinag-aralan mo talaga yan. Oh, uh, well, uh, it's part of that. Yeah. Self-defense, mga ganyan. Uh, yeah, I'm a martial arts practitioner, so mm. I'm also a gun enthusiast. Hindi, naki, <laughs> hindi. Pero, be, ano, kasi uh, yung dating, hindi yung tipong, alam mo yon yung parang uh, paangas lang. Alam mo yun eh, yung, uh, yung paastig-astig, pero sa totoo lang, wala namang alam sa paghawak ng barrel, self-defense. Uh, yes, yes. And sometimes, I look at myself and then, mali. Because lumalabas yung sarili ko na hindi ko sinasadya, but sa iba, ba't ang angas nito? I have to tell my people, hey, check my tonality. If my tonality doesn't look good, especially if it's not good, it's not good. So somebody will have to say, boss, tono, boss, bosses, boss, facial expression. So, it comes along. Sa akin kasi, alam ng mga tao pag yung real, matapang Very ka. Very transparent ka eh, no? Yes. Uh, at, at times, I don't know that. But pag sa labas, once I'm out, when I see anyone, mm -hmm. matik na sa akin maging friendly. Oh, kasi people don't know that Ben Tulfo is a gentle soul. Yun naman talaga totoo eh. <laughs> When I'm at home, that's me. I said that because how can you have compassion? Kung well, wala kang ganon, di ba? Kasi yung ginagawa nyo, pagtulong, hindi naman propaganda yun eh, di ba? Kasi okay. totoo, namang, totoo namang maraming kababayan tayo na agrabyado eh. Okay. Kailangan nila ng tulong, di ba? Iisa yung expectation ng mga tao pagdating sa apelido namin, Tulfo. And the brand na Tulfo sa aming tatlo, kasi nagsama kami once upon a time sa isang channel, mm -hmm. and that's basically T3. Mm -hmm. So, na, nakita namin, myself, very analytical ako, very critical ako when mm -hmm. it comes to looking at things and mm -hmm. why is this so. Mm -hmm. Ang mga tao... Lalo-lalo na yung mga agrabyado, yung mga walang-wala, mm -hmm. yung hindi pinapansin, Oo. pupunta sa mga departamento or alagad ng batas, mm -hmm. pinagpapasapasahan, pinagpapasapasahan. Mm -hmm. meron silang expectation doon tayo sa Tulfo. Mamili sila. Mm -hmm. Either sa RTIA, Rafi Tulfo in Action, mm -hmm. or uh, Tutok Tulfo kay Erwin, mm -hmm. or sa hashtag ipabitag mo kay Ben Tulfo. Iisang perception eh. 
Madali kaming takbuhan, madali kaming lapitan, madali mm -hmm. kaming puntahan. Mm -hmm. At magkakaroon ng sagot. Mm -hmm. Yun ang perception nila. Eh. Uh, madali kaming lapitan, madali kaming puntahan, mm -hmm. madali kaming umaksyon. Mm -hmm. Pero yung expectation, yung inaasahan nila mm -hmm. na yung aksyon. Pero bago sa amin, pinakikinggan namin ng maigi ng pakikinig namin na may awa, unawa, mm -hmm. pag-unawa, awa. Importante ito eh. Mm -hmm. eh. Hindi mo kasi maintindihan pag ang taong hindi ka naawa, Totoo bato pa yun. lang eh. So, so yung awa at pag-unawa, na-develop yung pagsusuri, mm -hmm. pagtatanong, mm -hmm. pagsusuri, and then nagbabalanse ka. Matuto kami makinig uh, doon sa mga walang, ka, walang kalaban-laban mm -hmm. na pinagpapasapasahan, kami sa bitag, natuto kami ng tumindig. Stand up for the guy. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, pag uh, tumindig or stand up for the guy, merong kinakailangan, kaya mong ipaglaban yan. Meron kang, hindi, hindi, ka, hindi mo pwedeng Meron kang masasagasaan. I wonder. Say it becomes a heavy responsibility yes, on your shoulders. But it's not my shoulder. That's supposed to be everybody's responsibility. True. I believe it's the fourth estate's responsibility to mm -hmm. expose the executive, legislative, judiciary. Yes, yes. All in one. It's, it's, not, it's not given to anyone like us. Correct. Kasi mm -hmm. lahat naman tayo pwede maging ganyan. Sila yung gobyerno eh. Yes. Nasa kanila lahat ng resources. Exactly. But... If they keep coming back because they see you are doing something effective para sa kanila, mm -hmm. uh, happy na sila ron. Number one, I think you don't give false hopes, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, agad yung sinasabi kung ano lang yung kaya at yung hindi kaya. Hindi mm. kayo nagpapaasa ng tao. Yes. Tama. Pero kahit na the fact na pinakinggan nyo lang, kahit na hindi nyo natugunan o na, nabigyan ng solusyon ng buong-buo yung kanilang kahilingan, aalis ang tao, masaya, di ba? You are basically right. Mm -hmm. uh, alam mo kuminsan, itong tao na to, hindi mo matutulungan dahil nasa pudar na ng hukuman ang kanyang inarareklamo. Exactly. Okay, kung manggagaling pa sa malayo, bag sa kalooban kung aalis siya na parang heavy heart, wala oh. naman palang nangyari. The mere fact, sabi mo ka kanina, na may nakinig, mm -hmm. may nakiramay, nakikinig, at giving hope, mm -hmm. and making him understand, or her understand, na may pag-asa, na kaya, mm -hmm. respetuhin lang yung prosesong matapos sa hukuman, mm -hmm. or ano man, quasi-judicial body, kung saan man din nila yan, pag walang nangyari, takbo ko ulit sa amin. Mm -hmm. Tsaka kami kikilos, pero yeah. bibigyan namin respeto. Hindi ba kayo na napepeke? 